morning, everybody. Uh, what we have today is two updates on cases that we've went through uh, earlier in the week. And then we wanted to put out some information on the icy conditions that we're expecting over the weekend. So the first update that we're going to give is on the homicide that occurred on January 9th on East 18th Street. That was documented under case number 17C001904. Officers have arrested a 24-year-old male in connection with this homicide. The investigation remains open while investigators continue to work through the events and determine if any other suspects are possibly involved. But we have arrested a 24-year-old male. He is on the arrest sheets and he has been booked in uh, for that homicide. How were you guys able to find this individual? I'm not exactly sure exactly how uh, they determined. They did not let me know that, but they uh, did through their investigation uh, find a name. They were able to arrest him and get him booked, I believe, yesterday or last night. Were you guys able to find that red or orange uh, Avalanche? The Avalanche, yes. Officers did locate the Avalanche as well. And I'm not sure at that location. Um, it's somewhere south of Wichita, I believe, or around south Wichita. But yes, that has been uh, located. We're no longer looking for that vehicle. And again, a 24-year-old was arrested. Is there any other outstanding suspects? That is unsure right now. Like I said, we're still... Uh, homicide section still working through to see if there's any other involved individuals at the time. Can you say if the person arrested is affiliated with the gang? That I don't know. I can find out for you. I did not look up his name prior to this, but I can find out. And did that vehicle belong to this uh, 24 year old male? I don't know who the vehicle belonged to. Sure. 17C001904. Can you also just address? Again, that's, you know, I'm not sure uh, since I wasn't specifically involved in the case. I know homicide has worked day in and day out. Uh, talked to a lot of people, a lot of residents. We've gotten some uh, tips, some phone calls, and I'm not sure exactly what led to this individual. But again, we, we welcome any information that anybody has. You know, the, the community plays a huge part in probably this crime and every other single crime, you know, that we are able to get arrest on. Uh, because of the calls to 911, the tips that come in through Crime Stoppers and all that. So that everything put together is what is detrimental to a case, and that's how cases get solved. Okay, the other update I was going to give you is on the pedestrian accident that occurred um, on January 10th at 10,500 West Central that Officer Davidson spoke about yesterday. That case number is 17C002121. Unfortunately, the pedestrian that was struck by that Ford Escape has died as a result of her injuries. The victim is identified as 84-year-old female Frances Vermillion, F-R-A-N-C-E-S. Last name is V as in Victor, E-R-M-I-L-L-I-O-N. Again, an 84-year-old female who lives in Wichita. The investigation is still open, and the case will be presented to the district attorney's office when complete for any kind of possible charging that might arise out of this case. Has the individual, the driver of that hit and run, been cooperative with police? I believe so, yes. Um, what, what date, can you say what date she died on? I, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know if it was early this morning or yesterday or I'm not sure when exactly she passed away. The pedestrian? Yeah. Um, I know she was crossing the street. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, where she was headed to or, or from at that time, but she was crossing the street, I believe, on Central. Um, was that between Central and Mace? Mace, yes. Just east of that location, or I'm sorry, west of that location. With the threat of ice and severe weather coming this weekend, we wanted to take a few minutes to give some tips on driving on icy conditions. These are taken from the National Weather Service. If you don't need to drive on icy roads, please don't. And slow down. Clear ice from all windows and lights on your vehicle. Leave plenty of room for stopping. Pay attention and please do not try to outdrive the conditions. Use brakes carefully. It takes more time and distance to stop in these adverse conditions. 
Remember, elevated surfaces such as bridges and overpasses freeze first. Don't make sudden lane, or I'm sorry, don't make sudden turns or lane changes. Slowly move into another lane. Don't get overconfident in your four-wheel drive vehicle's traction. It will still take longer than usual to stop. Look further ahead than usual for traffic clues. Trucks are heavier than cars and take longer to respond and come to a complete stop, so avoid cutting in front of them. Be sure to leave extra room for maintenance vehicles and plows that are out on the street and use extra caution at exit ramps as they are icy as well. These will be posted to our Facebook page today for a reminder. We want everybody to stay safe again with the ice and the, and the weather that could possibly be coming. And then also, as we always say, please check on your elderly neighbors, friends, and family, especially if we start to lose power around town. And please make sure all your pets are inside. That's what I got for today. Thank you guys.